eight important differences between the upper motor neuron and the lower motor neuron lesions which i don't want you guys to miss in your examination you shouldn't be missing even one important difference between um and lmn because i don't want you to miss even half a mark for this question irrespective of the fact whether this question is asked as a part of a long essay or it is asked as a short note that is either a five or a six marker or even it can be asked as a very short answer question be uh, sure to write all these eight points so let's study what are these eight points so the first is what is called as the site of lesion so the site of lesion in case of upper motor neuron could be either what is called as our corticospinal tract which is also called as the pyramidal tract these are the one where the tract arises from the cortex and it is terminating at the level of the spinal cord second is what is called as the cortico bulbar tract it is called as the cortico bulbar tract here the neurons are arising from the cortex and where they are terminating they are terminating at the level of the brain stem okay where you have the cranial motor nuclei there is that is where they are terminating whereas in case of the lower motor neuron the lesion could be in the alpha motor neurons okay which are present in the spinal cord alpha motor neuron which are present in the spinal cord or they could be also in the cranial motor neurons cranial motor neurons which are arising in the brain stem which are arising in the brain stem so these are nothing but the motor neurons of the cranial nerves which are arising in the brain stem so this is the difference with respect to the site second coming to the type of paralysis in case of upper motor neuron lesion it is what is called as a spastic paralysis if you want to be more specific about this you can write what is called as clasp knife spasticity is what is seen here clasp knife spasticity whereas in case of lower motor neuron lesion we get a flaccid paralysis now because there is spasticity that means what has happened to the tone of the muscles the tone of the muscles has of course increased and that is called as hypertonia so this is the third point whereas in case of lower motor neuron what has happened there is flaccid paralysis that means the tone of the muscles has decreased and that is what is called as hypotonia clear the muscles affected in the upper motor neuron lesion lot of muscles or we can say lot of group of muscles can be affected whereas in case of lower motor neuron a single muscle can be affected or even an individual muscle also can be affected next is the deep tendon reflexes in case of upper motor neuron very important point the deep tendon reflexes are exaggerated they are exaggerated you take any deep tendon reflexes you do a knee jerk you do a ankle jerk you do a biceps jerk all these reflexes are exaggerated whereas in case of the lower motor neuron lesion all these reflexes are lost this is one very important difference but with respect to the superficial reflexes for both umn as well as lmn lesions the superficial reflexes are lost for both of them okay very important is this point that is the plantar reflex now what happens to the plantar reflex in upper motor neuron lesion in upper motor neuron lesion the plantar reflex is an extensor reflex so this is what is called as babinski sign positive this is called as the babinski sign positive whereas in case of the lower motor neuron lesion the plantar reflex is very much flexor okay so this is called as babinski sign negative it is called as babinski sign negative now coming to the last point which is disuse atrophy disuse atrophy is not very severe in case of upper motor neuron lesions whereas disuse atrophy is very severe in case of lower motor neuron lesion so these are the eight important differences which you should know so that you can write in your examinations 
थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग